Well, I think right now China is being cautious. Uh, you know, people have different discussions inside this country and how far we can go. Uh, in particular, with those uh, important projects uh, with huge investment, economic investment over there, I think that security is the number one concern. Uh, obviously, you want to see a stable government, an inclusive government, hopefully, uh, because an inclusive government, uh, people will see that as uh, you know laying a foundation for a stable country, a stable government. Uh, and then, of course, China would like to see some actions from the Taliban government. Uh, against some of the extremist groups in the inside of the country, uh, because that's also uh, a concern for China. For example, Xinjiang, which is neighboring uh, the Xinjiang province, neighboring uh, Afghanistan directly. Uh, so people would be concerned about ETIM, whether you know all those fighters have been uh, either driven out of this country or somehow being, let's say, uh, attitudes have been changed. They are not a welcome anymore in Afghanistan. Uh, or they need to cooperate with the Chinese side to make sure there are no extremist uh, you know, fighters against the Chinese interests, at least from the Chinese point of view. Of course, there are other extremist groups like ISIS-K. You know, I don't think they are welcomed by any neighboring countries. So in that sense, yes, uh, I would say it, take, it still takes some time for the Chinese side to uh, somehow feel you know, sure, certain about the, about the situation, and then they are ready to go ahead with the investment and economic cooperation in the country.